Welcome back. In your eye on politics today, attorneys for impeached Attorney General Ken Paxton say that he is innocent and they don't believe that he'll be convicted in a trial that will, of course, be held in the Texas Senate. The lawyer spoke this afternoon for the first time and listening in on all of that, this guy, political reporter Jack Fink. So what are they saying, especially what comes next and what are they looking at? Well, Doug, the attorneys representing Ken Paxton say they don't believe the evidence against him is strong at all and say it couldn't even indict a ham sandwich, as the saying goes. It will be up to Texas senators to listen and weigh all of the evidence against Paxton and decide if he should be removed as attorney general permanently. Paxton has been suspended without pay ever since the Texas House impeached him Memorial Day weekend. Paxton's lawyers held a news conference this afternoon saying the process has been a sham because the House never notified Paxton that he was being investigated and never gave him or his team a chance to tell their side of the story. The Texas House members said their job was to act like a grand jury and decide if there were enough to the accusations to forward them to the Texas Senate so those lawmakers there could hold a trial. Paxton is accused of abusing his office and power so he could help himself and a campaign donor among the 20 articles of impeachment, abuse of public trust, being unfit for office, dereliction of duty, and constitutional bribery. Attorneys who will be prosecuting the case spoke at a news conference last week. As for Paxton, he and his lawyers have strongly denied he did anything wrong. Impeachment articles that have been laid out by the House are baloney. Just so we're clear, the allegations are untrue. They are false. When I read the, the 20 articles of impeachment, my first thought were these are worthless and weak. This is not about a one-time misuse of an office. It's not about a two-time misuse of the office. It's about a pattern of misconduct and use in the office, subjecting to people who don't have a voice to basically threats and fear that if they come forward, they will pay a big price for it. Paxson's attorneys held their news conference today at the Texas Republican Party headquarters in Austin. A party spokesman tells me its office is open to all elected Republicans. The impeachment trial will start by August 28th, but senators will soon decide the exact date, along with the rules and procedures for the trial. No word yet if Paxton's wife, Senator Angela Paxton, will recuse herself. Yeah, and they, and they did commit to no later than the 28th, so right. something before that date. Yes. Yeah. All right, Jack Fink, thank you very much.